So, Don Brothers episode 47, we're finally at the end game arc, and in four episodes, Don Brothers will be coming to an end, which is crazy to believe that we're almost at the end game for this series. But episode 47, I don't know if there's a lot to say about this episode, because the main plot of this episode is the Noto trio and the Don Brothers having this big group discussion on them forming an alliance, which is definitely going to happen if you see the next episode previews, and we've sort of seen that seeing them come together after last week's episode, but this episode is mostly them sitting around a table sort of discussing if they want to form an alliance or not, and although it was mostly talking, you did have Sonoshi and his gang sort of doing their thing, running around uh, town, the city, and sort of abducting people, and they have their little gags and stuff like that. They're a lot of fun. I, I kind of love the Sonoshi trio. They're really wacky goofy. I'm glad they've actually got personality. And they're not just one-off characters, like, they've got some substance to them, like, even though the big buff dude is a meathead, he's, like, got some comedic gen genius where he sort of looks at the camera with one of his jokes and you randomly, like, hear applause, it was, like, really weird. And then you've got the chick, which is obsessed with beauty and stuff like that, and then you've got Sonoshi, who's obsessed with cleaning. Like, they've got their little gimmicks, and I'm glad they've got their gimmicks, and that's what makes them fun, so I'm glad that they had that in mind with these characters. Um... But yeah, like I said, this episode was our heroes sort of sitting around the table and forming some kind of alliance. And there are some good jokes as they sat around the table where where I believe it's Sonoza or Sonoi, they ask, hey, what's up with Black Kaito or Kaito? And you have this really dramatic moment where they're like, you hear the ground shaking as he's about to give his answer. And then they just turn it into a gag, which is kind of kind of expected where he just goes oh I'm just a regular guy and everyone does like the anime face fault uh position um but this all episode also did confirm that Inazuka did use his uh points to revive uh Sononi and uh Kaito does say that's going to come with like big consequences and misfortune for doing that so something bad might happen to Inazuka later down the line we'll have to wait and see um but bad things could happen. And then you've got freaking uh, Kiji brother freaking out, which kind of has his moments in the episode, and they sort of hang shit on Kiji brother because he's turned into a freaking um, uh, Hitsuki like three times, and they do say like after the fourth time it's not funny anymore. Um, so they've got those gags in there. But in this episode we also see Jin, I believe Jin's his name, yeah, Jin, uh, Momotaro's father, and he comes out of the jail, and he's sort of like, yo, I'm here, and he sits down with them at the meeting, and he does explain some things, like he's the one that sent uh, Sonoi to the uh, forest of the Juto to get the Ring of Forgiveness, and he presses a button to send them there, but you have this one scene that is played up for comedic effect where he sees Kaito and he's like, oh my god, it's a legendary hero, and he starts fanboying over him and bowing at his feet, which was kind of weird, but kind of funny as well. Um, but yeah, he kind of, he does dump some really interesting, like, teasing lore and give some backstory on Momotaro and the Peach where he says uh basically the there's an Oni that's sort of meant to be the enemy of the Don clan and that kind of mimics the story of Momotaro and the Peach so Haruka wonders if she's the final boss and sort of points to herself but then Jin also says enemy or not it might have a message for the Don family which I wonder I'm wondering because I use different subs for this I didn't use the overtime subs for this uh video or review I think I use the one that's done by I do apologize if I butcher their name but it's like Chiyu um but it's like someone learning Japanese if I remember correctly so they're going to translate Don Brothers so it's an interesting choice of subs but I do understand most of the stuff going on with with their translation so if I get it wrong or you watched a different subgroup then I do apologize if I uh misinterpreted some stuff um but uh uh, Jin says, oh, whatever the message is, we'll find out later, which is kind of implying that future Haruka had that storybook, uh, with her, well, not, her manga, and that sort of might be the ending of Don Brothers and the key of how the show will end, so 
that could be what he's like teasing and hinting at. Now we do get to see Jiro like a little bit in this episode and I do feel bad for him because they're like, where's Jiro? And Inazuka says, oh, he's just figuring himself out. He's not feeling so good. And then it cuts back to him in the village with his head down and that's the only time we see him. But we're going to see him next week, which is going to be his big moment according to the trailers. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I can say about this episode. We do get sort of two monsters of the week this episode. A Battle Fever J1, and let me bring up the wiki <laughs> real quick. Um, we get a Battle Fever J1 and a Change Man one. So we see two characters I believe we've seen before. And they both turn into monsters of the week after they have this argument in the cafe where they have this joke where it's like uh, the boyfriend's like oogling um, Sanoni and Hurricane is like, oh, they're cute. And then you find out she's a telepath. And then uh, there's another joke in the episode where um, her, like Kiji Brother screams at him saying, don't bring your problems in here when he's the one who's been screaming all episode. But are these monsters of the week? They absorb Taro and they absorb Kijino. And the big thing that they've been teasing with next week's episode preview, which they kind of spoiled in the preview, um, the next episode preview, is they've got to save them because if they get destroyed by Sonoshi, then they're gone for good with the monster. Um because the Ring of Forgiveness fixed everything and they can't do it again last time. So we've got that going on. Um, so I wonder if Jiro is going to save the day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I can say with this episode. I mean, it was like most of most of like sitting around and talking, but I did enjoy the episode overall. So this review is probably going to bomb, you never know. Um, but anyway, guys, what did you think of Don Brothers episode 47? Love it, hate it? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that said, I'm going to bring this review to a close. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care, bye.